Hello, my name is Drew's Tooth, and you're probably watching this because you've decided to install Team Fortress 2, go into a game, and choose Scout. But you're hitting one major problem. How do I play Scout? Well, I'm here to help you answer that question and get that bare bones basic so you can run out there, miss all your shots, and get killed. So let's get right into it. Now for starters, we're going to take a look at Scout's biggest downfall, his health. Scout only has 125 health, which seems to be decent, but you'll quickly find out that's not enough health. But Scout makes up for this with his speed. Scout is the fastest class in TF2, and if utilized efficiently, you will be an unstoppable killing machine. Now let's get into movement. Scout can double jump, and to do that, you just have to tap space two times. Scout's double jump is very versatile, allowing you to jump up and down, side to side, and back and forth. Always remember A, B, B. Always be bouncing. Bouncing around the battlefield will make you harder to hit, and it will make it harder for spies to kill you or disguises you. On another note, always be moving as well. Moving side to side and jumping combined can increase your survivability on the battlefield. Remember, a still scout is a dead scout. Now that we have movement down, it's time to get into your weapons. There are five major weapons that scouts use, but when you play scout, you're going to have three weapons, which include the scattergun, pistol, and the bat. Let's get into the scattergun first. The scattergun is going to be the number one weapon you will use the most playing scout. With six shots, you can take out any class and a few well-timed point-blank shots. A scout scattergun can take out most classes in two to three point blank shots if not being overhealed or having damage res resistance. But at long distances, the scout scattergun leaves much to be desired, requiring you to get up close and personal with the enemy. The scattergun's damage is incredulous, but it'll take time to get up close and personal with the enemy without getting killed. Now let's get into scout's alternate weapon, which you will probably unlock after some time playing TF2. The gun I'm talking about is the Force of Nature. The Force of Nature is a double barreled shotgun for Scout that can deal massive amounts of damage if you land both shots. When using the Force of Nature, the first shot will knock an enemy back while the second hit will just damage them. If you can land both shots at point blank, however, it's usually an insta kill. But if it's not, you can switch to your pistol for an easy finisher, which I will get into later. It's also important to note that this knockback can also knock you back. If you are in air and you fire the scatter gun, the first shot will always knock you back in the opposite direction. <clears throat> I mean, uh, force of nature, my bad. A great weapon to use if you can land your shots, but otherwise a downgrade to the scatter gun if you aren't the best at aiming. The next weapon the scout has is the pistol. The pistol is mainly used for finishers or to hit enemies at medium range. With the scattergun, it's a viable option if you ever run out of ammo in a fight. Hit a guy two times and out of ammo? Whip out your pistol and cap him. Just hit a dude with both force and nature shots and he isn't dead? Whip out your pistol! The pistol is a nice failsafe for you when you run out of ammo, but on its own, it's rare that you kill someone at full health with it. The next weapon you'll probably get after playing TF2 is the Criticola. The Criticola is a soda can that, when drunken, will give you mini crits. Mini crits will give you some extra damage so you can kill people faster. But with the Criticola, every hit you land marks you for death for 5 seconds. Marked for death basically means you take a lot more damage and that, and that can be daunting to most people. But if you can dodge effectively or flank the team, you can wipe out quite a few enemies before being killed yourself. Finally, we have Scout's melee weapon, the Bat. The Bat is... Uh, well, a bat. <laughs> when your scattergun and pistol is out of ammo, then your last resort besides loading, or reloading, is to use your melee. Usually, melee weapons aren't used, but your bat's always there when you need it. Last but not least, we have to go over counters. Um, Scout has three major counters. The Flame and Pyro, Sniping Sniper, and Nest NG. Best advice for dealing with these counters, though? Don't. Pyro will absolutely set you on fire unless you're a god at aiming. Sniper will blow your brains out unless you can dodge effectively. And don't even get me started on those level 3 sentries. 
But what Scout does counter is Medics. Medics usually have a big, strong, heavy protecting them, but when their team is distracted, that's when you strike. Using your speed and mobility, you can take out their Medic and hopefully make a quick getaway. And with that, now you're ready to go on and become a scout on your first day at TF2. These are just the bare bones, however, so there's still a lot more to learn, but this should help you to get on your feet and start running instead of walking, because who needs walking when you can run? Thank you all for watching, and remember, always steal that sandwich. Incoming! Yeah, yeah, thanks!